Scalp's a brilliant one-two for Mercedes on home ground. Their first ever in Germany, amazingly. Yeah. But a recurrence of the hydraulic failure we saw on Bottas's car in Austria, and now Lewis had that same, a similar problem in qualifying in Germany. This is the, the, the high-pressure hydraulic system. It's not like the brakes, which obviously are hydraulic. So you've got high-pressure pump working, very high PSI, and that operates virtually everything on the car. So the throttles, the wastegate, the pop-off valve, mm. the gearbox, reverse gear differential, DRS, and the power steering. What we saw in Austria on Bottas's car, he had a, a decrease in hydraulic pressure, and it transpires as the, the, the K-nuts that hold the hydraulic unions onto the steering rack were vibrating free, and that then led to a, the slight leak, which obviously caused the problem. The K-nuts are used frequently on, on race cars, and they're actually an aircraft thing, so there's a very lightweight nut, sort of flanged with a small hex on it, and there's self-retaining, self so the way you, you bolt them up, you can only use them once, once you've screwed them on, mm -hmm. when you screw them off they go in the bin. Um, so you know, they're designed for vibration. What they were finding in Austria, as we understand now, is that the curbs were creating a certain resonant vibration that allowed these nuts to come undone to, to create the leak. Two races later, obviously Silverstone in between, no problems, no one was talking about curbs at all throughout Silverstone. We come to Germany, which has these uh, reverse Valle Lunga curbs, which create a lot of vibration. We've seen it in the past, wrecking rear suspension. So, you know, we know that it's a slightly unusual track. Hungary with the Force India. And Hungary as well mm. is another one where yeah. we saw uh, Perez, I think yeah. it was a, a suspension yeah. failure. So we have these circuits that do throw up certain vibration uh, patterns because of the curbs. And through practice, um, obviously then into qualifying, Hamilton had an off. Uh, and as we understand, that could have led to the vibration, mm. but equally it might have just been like the nail in the coffin that just loosened them to that point. Mm. He then went into the, the, the next turn, and by then his power steering obviously mm. was already starting to give up, and then you know, he had to retire the car, as we saw again, because once the pressure goes... But it's interesting, isn't it? Because they're not the... Lewis wouldn't have been the only driver of Valtteri in, in mm. Austria using the kerbs. No. So there's obviously some sort of cadence there's something that, very, that is there. There's something very mm. specific. Now... Yeah. It may be related, it may be unrelated. Mercedes have a very unusual steering rack. Normally steering racks, as we re recognise them, are quite, quite small cylinders with the, mm. with the gear and the hydraulics in the middle. Mercedes have this large, what looks like a hydraulic accumulator over the top. Now that may be to do with the steering, or it may be to do with something with the, the hydraulic system and the suspension, which is a, you know, a completely separate system. Um, so something about their setup, again, as I say, Hydraulic unions, it's, it's established technology in Formula One now, you know, sort of decades now, as we could say, is that they've been bolting in these connections, and we, we, we have a picture of um, a hydraulic union connection where you have the, the metal tube goes in with a closing plate and a cane up over a stud, holds everything in place. Uh, you know, in any other area of motorsport, mm. if you had that problem, you would put on lock wire on them, obviously. But you would imagine that's what they would have done after Austria. Well, potentially, but again, you know, the cane nut is a long-established... Uh, solution. Uh, so you, you know, you probably think, well, why should we change it? And equally, mm. access to put some lock wire pliers True. into uh, the cockpit would be tricky. Mm. But you know, this is this this isn't an insurmountable problem. It can be solved. And it was in the middle of the triple header. Exactly. Mm. So you know, obviously, that changed the weekend yeah. massively for Hamilton, and uh, must leave the uh, you know the mechanical design engineers at Mercedes now scratching their heads, thinking, well, what do we do? We can't have a third failure. <laughs>